In a race, Kip Sang maintained an average speed of 5 meters per second. When he was 310 meters to the finishing line, Mutunga was 50 meters behind him. However, Mutunga finished the race 10 meters ahead of Kip Sang. Determine Mutunga's average speed. 3 Marks So that is a question. Let us go straight to the solution and see how we are supposed to solve this question. Now, we given that um, Kipsang maintained an average speed of uh, 5 meters per second, and then when he was at um, 300 meters to the finishing line, Mutunga was 50 meters behind him. Then at the end, Mutunga finished the race at 10 meters ahead of Kipsang. So there's something here we need to get. We need to get the distance um, that was to be moved by Mutunga, so distance by Mutunga. So to get the distance by Mutunga, uh, we shall have, um, now there, there's something here that is going to assist us. When Kipsang was 310 meters to the finishing line, Mutunga was 50 meters behind. And at the end there we are given that he finished the race. So for him to finish the race, he had to recover this distance. So he had to uh, run at a distance of 310 plus 50 meters. The reason why we are adding 50 is because of this statement. When he was, uh, Kipsang was at 310 meters, Mutunga was 50 meters behind him. So for Mutunga to recover this distance, he had to move this distance. That is why we are adding 310 plus 50 because it's behind. So for him, he had to cover this distance and uh, therefore in total he had to run this distance 360 uh, to finish. Then for Kipsang, uh, there is a statement here that is going to help us for Kipsang as well. Uh, Mutunga finished the race at 10 meters ahead of Kipsang. And uh, we give another start there. Kipsang was at 310 meters to the finishing line. So if Mutunga finished the race 10 meters ahead, therefore it means uh, Kipsang moved this distance 310 meters then we are going to subtract 10 meters so he was not uh, at still at the end by the time Mutunga was uh, finishing the race so he was uh, 10 meters behind and these are you going to get the distance that he had moved 310 subtract 10 and this will be 300 meters now these are the distances that are, that are going to help us that is for Mutunga 360 meters then for Kipsang uh, 300 meters now there's something else that uh, will assist us to get uh, the Mutunga's average speed now we are given Kipsang's average speed now having uh, the distance and the speed there's something that you can get time when you look at this question there's something that you're going to realize that for them to cover for Mutunga to cover 360 meters and Kipsang to cover this distance they had to use the same time they had to use the same time for Mutunga to finish up to the end 360 meters then Kipsang was uh, behind between that time uh, for them to cover this time 360 and 300 and 300 meters for Mutunga and Kipsang they had to use the same time so the time used by Mutunga uh, to cover these 360 is equivalent to the time used by Kipsang to cover 300, 300 meters. And um, how do we get time? Uh, to get time, this is uh, quite easy. Uh, time is given by distance uh, divided by speed. For Motunga, uh, for Motunga, for Motunga, uh, time will be given by 360 divided by the speed uh, used by Mutunga is what you are looking for. We can let that to be x. And then we have, let me write something here. Then for Kipsang, Kipsang uh, the time will be given by distance, which is uh, 300 meters. Uh, divided by we are given the speed which is 5 meters per second so automatically here we get the time 
used a 60 second. So this 60 second is the same time that was used by Mutunga for these uh, 360 meters. So to get uh, X, which is the speed for Mutunga, you're going to equate these. You're going to equate these, let's say, uh, 360, 360, uh, divided by x time used by Mutunga is equivalent to time used by Kipsang which is uh, 300 uh, divided by by 5 I'm putting it like this that you can see then you can still write it as uh, 360 divided by x is equal to 60 you see the same so and this um, is uh, 60 this is what I mean so this will give uh, 360 360 divided by x is equals to 60 and this um, will give uh, 360 is equals 60 times x is uh, 60x and when you get x here uh, x will be x will be 6 therefore the speed by Motunga Tunga's speed is equals to 6 meters per second and that is how you're supposed to solve that question.